let's talk a little bit about the equal marginal principle. That's the idea that consumers will maximize their utility when they allocate their limited incomes so that the marginal utility per dollar spent on each of their final choices in a bundle is equal. If they're not equal, they're not that person is not maximizing their utility. And what the, the what's really cool about this principle is that it takes into consideration both the marginal utility and the price. There might be something that's really, really cool that you want to get. I love a beachfront property in a with a really fancy house you know, all, with all the bells and whistles, but I don't buy that. It'll give me a lot more. My marginal utility of that house is way higher than the home that I live in now. Why don't I buy that? Because I take into consideration the price. The price is too high. That creates an opportunity cost and I have to forgive way too many other things that I'm not willing to do. So by taking the marginal utility divided by the price, we, we can figure out where we'll want to, uh, to maximize our, our utility subject to the price. And what, what happens is, if you create, if you're looking at a bunch of things, if you're buying different products and you're looking at the marginal utility or price over each one of them, we will we'll buy the one that gives us the largest bang for the buck, the highest MU over P first. And then we go to the second highest one. If, if you're looking at two different things, you're buying two different things and one of them is higher than the other, you're not quite where, um, and either you run out of money to get there, but it, if budget, if money is not so much of an issue, you really ought to be getting investing in more of the thing that has the highest MU over P. And I've, I've got a little bit of an example to work through, to hopefully um, help us help illustrate what this is. I like pizza. I like root beer. They go, they pair really well together. They're good complements. And so I made this little table. And uh, right, if I'm really hungry, that first piece of pizza, I'm going to get ten noodles out of it. One out of 10, that's 10. And root beer, I like it pretty good too, especially with pizza. That doesn't quite bring me as much happiness. I'll get five utils out of a piece of pizza. And, but the more, or I, I, I'll get, but if I drink that second root beer, that's gonna be good, but not quite as much as the one just before. Same thing with a pizza. Let me start populating this table. What is the total cost going to be? The total cost is simply quantity times the price. I'm gonna put an anchor right here so I can copy this all the way down. So now we got, so now if I buy seven pieces of pizza and there's three bucks a pop or three bucks a pizza piece, seven times three is 21. This computes this all the way down. Let's look at the root beer. If I buy one root beer, and they cost $2 a piece, that is going to be $2. One times two is two. If I buy, and I'm just gonna double quick, copy this down. If I buy 10 root beers at two bucks a pop, 10 times two is 20. So that gives us the total cost with this. Now, what I'm going to do is to compute the MU over P. I'll just do equals the MU divided by the price, that's C2, so, so anchor on that. So the MU over P is 3.3, and because, so there we go. There are our MU over P. And so the, the way I, I use this table is, if I, if I show up, I got a bunch of money in my pocket, burning a hole in my pocket, I show up to the my favorite pizza joint that sells pizza, slices of pizza for three bucks a piece, root beer, for two dollars a, a glass, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask myself, what do I want first? Well, naturally, it's the thing that gives me the highest marginal utility divided by price, and the highest MU over P among all the suite of goods that I'm looking at is that first piece of pizza, which gives me three point three three. So the very first three dollars I'm spending is gonna be that first piece of pizza. I'm gonna do a couple of things. Let's see. Pizza, root beer, and let's see, I'm gonna put the quantity, total, uh, let's see, let's do total cost. Okay, anyways, we've, we've got that. So if I'm, do, if I'm getting this and then total utility, we can compute that as we go. I'll do that in just a moment. 
So I'm going to buy one pizza pizza. That's the first thing I'll buy. What's the next thing I'm going to buy? Well, MU over P three right here. Let me see. I got if I can draw, annotate to this. This three right here is higher than 2.5. So I am going to get that second piece of pizza before I even consider that first glass of root beer. So how does it look like on here? I'm gonna put two, I'll up to the two on here. What is the cost for that? The cost is, well, let's see. I should put a formula. If you look up, put this value in here. So that's gonna be six bucks. And I've still got zero things of root beer. After three, next I'm looking at that third slice of pizza. That's gonna be more delicious than that, even that first root beer. That uh, root beer is good, but I get a lot of utility out of that pizza. So 2.67 is higher than 2.5 right here. So I'm gonna get that third piece of pizza. And that's nine bucks so far. Okay, after that third piece of pizza, that first glass of root beer, I'm going to probably going to start washing it down. 2.5 is greater than 2.33. So I'm just going to put one right here. I'm going to add. Just add these in here so it's all formulaic. This makes it easier. That's going to be 11 bucks. If I still got some money in my pocket, I can keep going. Great. Uh, let's say I've got. Oh, maybe 20 bucks to spend total. And so I'm just going to keep eating pizza, keep drinking, downing those root beers until I can get to where I spend all my 20 bucks. Okay, so I'm at three pieces of root beer, or three pieces of pizza and one root beer. I'm at 2.5. What am I going to go into for next? Let's see the next highest MU over P for root beer is 2.25. The next highest one is 2.33. 2.33 is higher. And so that means I'm going to get one more piece of pizza before I get that next root beer. Let me bring that up to four. So now I'm at four, 2.33. The next lowest MU over P for pizza is two. And that's lower. And then that second root beer, which is 2.25. Okay, so now I'm at four pieces of pizza and two root beers. What am I gonna buy next? The MU over P for both of these is exactly, let's see, $2. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, there's $2 each. So really, I'll be just as happy buying either one. The pizza gives me more utility, but it's cheaper. And so, sure, I'll, I'll go for that, or I'll go for the root beer. Doesn't matter which one you pick next. Uh, we're gonna do, so we're at three. Well, let's just, for maybe for the problem, let's just say you can spend 21 bucks. Right. Three root beers and five pieces of pizza. And that gives us a total cost of 21. If our goal was 21, whatever our goal is, you keep going until you run out of money. And at this point, so if, if it was $21, if it was $20, it'd be one less piece of pizza or one less root beer. Uh, well, you might go for the pizza because it gives you a little bit higher utility. But really, you're just as happy with either well, I mean, the, because we take into consideration the cost, which is what the MU over P does. But let's look at total utility. If you're looking at five pieces of pizza, that is all of that marginal utility added together. And you're looking at three root beers. You're looking at this right here. So there's 53.5 utils that 21 bucks will give you. But that, that's, that's basically how you use the MU over P when you're, looking at, across two different goods uh, or services. And you could expand this out to as many as you want. Um, this example just has two, you could put 20, 30, 40, which means you have a much more MU over P. But ultimately what you do is you look at the highest MU over P first. So you grab that one. This is, let's see, three is the highest, 2.33, three is the next highest, 2.67 is the next highest. You, you, you go in order of the largest one to the next largest one and and so on and so forth. And that will tell you, determine how much of the total you should have. So based off of that, you'll, you'll figure out uh, if you have a budget amount, 
at what point you should stop when you run out of money there, when you've out allocated all of the money in that budget category towards those goods or services you are purchasing. 